Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Secret of the Ooze line from NECA. Um, there's three variants of this figure. I'm not sure what you call the one I got, but I did pick this up from Walmart. Um, looking at the box real quick. You do get some really nice artwork with these NECA figures, um, especially uh, behind the box. You do get some nice, nice artwork. I wish this figure would have drawn this back right here. This this like little border you see, like as an accessory, that would have been awesome. Like when the whole building fell on him, that would have been awesome if you got like a little piece of it. Um, what is it? Marvel Select does kind of does things like that. Like they'll include pieces of like accessories like that and their figures. Um, opening up the box, you do get a nice image here, and then inside the box, I'm not sure if I have any accessories. Now the only thing in here would be his hands, his extra set of hands, but that's it guys for the box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a better look of the actual figure now. Alright guys, here's the actual figure himself, looking awesome. As always, they look awesome, awesome, awesome. The detail in this figure is really, really nice. It's really well done. Um, you can see. I'm going to get into my only complaint. Which is a complaint I get with all my NECA figures. Um, but starting off, the detail in the face is awesome. These spikes are... It's just a rubbery plastic. It's not really pointy. I mean, it is pointy, but, you know, it's just plastic. It's not gonna... It's not gonna hurt you or anything like that. Same thing down the line on the side over here on his wrist gauntlet. And down here on his feet gauntlet. But overall, the figure looks really well done. Um, his hands... Are like this rubbery type of material so they're easy to hold things to grab onto the TGRI it's pretty easy um, I love the detail and the scope my only complaint right now I have them being hold with the stand because his feet broke off which is a complaint I have with all my NECA figures um, they seem to always be too stiff. They seem to always kind of have that that uh, the pegs are really stiff. So you always want to be very, very careful when you're putting in weapons on their hands or when you're switching out a uh, head scope or, or changing the hands, stuff like that. Even when you're bending the knees and stuff, you always want to be careful with your necker action figure guys because they are very stiff. They're well done, they're, well sculpt they're great sculpted and well done. But when it comes to articulation, man, the stuff sometimes are pretty stiff. And I always get scared of breaking them. Um, I love, let's turn him around. Let me pause it and turn him around so he won't fall. And I'll show you guys the cape. Alright guys. So taking a look at the cape is done like with a silky type of material. Um, it does have that like shine to it. That nice little, it gives you like that realistic touch. That's what I like about this figure the most. They really, the details, the paint on it gives you a real realistic touch, which NECA always does with their figures. It's really nice and soft. Um, the material is great. The material on the cape I mean, this figure has, everything is great quality, to be honest with you guys. Really great quality. I did pick this guy up in Walmart. So, 
if you guys get a chance to pick him up from the retail store, you're only going to be paying regular price, which is $34.99. And I think for that price range, you're getting a heck of a figure. And you're getting a lot, a lot of great quality details on this figure. So on all NECA figures. So for that price range, I feel like you're getting a, a great, great, great figure for a great, great, great price. We all know Marvel Legends has gone up. So let me um show you guys one more look at the front of the figure. All right, guys, I managed to stand them up without the stand. I will be um getting some glue and gluing that together, his feet, so he won't fall. I just haven't had time yet. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this figure. I know there's three versions of it. So which one are you guys interested in? I'm just happy I got to get my hands on one of these. And like I said, the prices on Marvel Legends are going up to $24.99. On top of that, that's um, you're going to have to pay tax. So you're looking about $28 for a Marvel Legends figure. And with NECA, you're paying about $37 including tax. And you're getting way better quality. I mean, you can compare both companies, but... This is what you're getting for almost $10 more. You're getting so much more. So much more. Not to mention the artwork with the box. The cover of the box. So I think it's a great price. I think NECA is doing fairly well with price ranging these figures at $34.99. And the two packs for being $60. I mean I find that kind of a lot. But then again you do get a lot with the figures. So... I don't know, guys. Just let me know what you guys think about um, how these figures are being priced. Are you okay with it? Or do you feel like um, Marvel Legends should be a little bit less, which I feel like they should go for $20, $22 at most. Um, Necker's good where they're at. You know, we do get a lot. Uh, their two packs, I feel like, could be $50. That will, that will sound so much better. Um but overall, guys, I feel like you do get a great figure. The staff is well, well, well done. Um, I don't want to move him so much because, again, his leg is broken. So it's going to be a pain to stand him up. But the TGRI, he does come with a green full canister of it. Um, I like how his eyes just glance at, at the TGRI. So you can get some really nice poses going on with him. Um... And he is a big figure, so let's do some size comparison next to your normal um, NECA TMNT figures from the movie. Alright guys, here he is next to the two-pack TMNT Leo and Raph. Here is the Raphael. So Raphael is, re they're really smaller than him. He's about, he's way under the shoulder He's around the bicep line, so he is he is a big figure compared to your uh, standard TMNT. Um, he is bigger than your than your regular TMNT figures. Um, I don't have the standard shredder. I don't have the regular shredder. Um, so if I do come across getting that figure, we'll do a comparison to see. He still should be bigger because I know when he. When he became Super Shredder in the movie, he was a lot bigger and stronger. So, we'll see if I get my hands on one of those. We'll compare them as well, side by side. But if you want to compare him next to the last running NECA figure as well, just to see the difference, I'll go ahead and bring that down here real quick. Alright guys, here he is next to your last running um, NECA. Just about the same. They're, they're about the same height as well. So no difference there. Um, I feel like they scaled the figure right. And again. A heck of a figure. And I really give give this figure. Um, if I was to rate it. Maybe a, maybe a 9 out of 10. Just because again. The foot broke man. Like I have to glue it. So. I just I just hope NECA is start making their figures a little bit more loose in the joints where 
we're not afraid of bending them because Raphael here as well, I had to right here from his knee down broke. So I had to like re put it in again because it broke off when I was posing him. So be very careful with your necker figure guys. They cost a lot of money and you know, sometimes they're not the easiest. Uh, first of all, they're not the easiest to come across. So when you do get a chance to get them, be very careful when you're switching out the hands or the head scope or whatever it is, because they're extremely, their joints can be extremely tight sometimes. And that can ruin the whole figure if you actually um, break the peg, then there's really no going back. So be careful with your necker figure, guys. And let me know what you guys think. Is this a pass or are you guys interested in buying him? Um, if this is this your favorite version, I know there's two more, I believe. And I guess I'm gonna end the video with that note, guys. Um, as always, thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for viewing. Thank you for liking. Um, thanks for the comments. I really do read them all. I try to get back to you guys. Um, and just thank you guys. I hope this video was helpful. And if this video helped, give it a thumbs up. Um, and stay tuned for more, guys. I'm really going to see if I can get my hands on that other shredder to definitely give you guys a review and see which one is better. All right, guys. With the, On that note, again, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. See you guys.